Hello friends, welcome back to the channel DevOps Consultancy and Solution. In this video, we will learn how we can create the, our own build image on Azure with the help of HashiCorp Packer. If I do the recap, so far we have learned what is Packer and how it works. We understood the whole life cycle of the Packer build process. If we revise the life cycle of the Packer build process, then first step is Packer launch the instance second packer install the packages or build script third packer stop the instance and sorry instance and take the snapshot Then Packer create the golden image from the snapshot. Create image from snapshot. And last, Packer terminate the instance. Then we have learned the installation of Packer on Mac, Linux and Windows operating system. Later part, we learned how to create the AWS AMI for Ubuntu on Windows using Packer build. In today's video, we will learn how to create your own image on Azure environment. We will learn how to create your own golden image for Ubuntu server on Azure. So let's get started. Before we start, creating the packer build file let's see what are the prerequisites required for this so in order to create the image for the azure first you need to install the azure cli so azure cli should be installed on your build machine or on your local machine whether you are using mac windows or linux environment so if we are using the uh, mac then you need to use the command brew install Azure-CLI so it will help you to install the uh, Azure CLI package on the Mac operating system so if you are using the Windows uh, operating system then you can use this link uh, it is available uh, it is easily available on the Google if you search on the Google how to install Azure CLI then you will get the couple of links so if you click the first link then it will help you to install where you want to install whether you want to install on the Ubuntu or Red Hat or in your Docker image like Windows or Mac then you just click on any of the link if you click on the Windows it will go to the Windows just follow the steps and install the Azure CLI on the Windows so similarly if you want to install on the uh, Linux environment or Ubuntu, just follow the link. Just if you go, if you go to the link, install uh, the Azure CLI on Linux. You will go. To, you will land on this page, and you will just follow the instructions and install the Azure CLI. Because I'm using the uh, Mac operating system, so I will use the brew space install Azure hyphen CLI commands to install the Azure CLI. So if I run this command, it will start the installation of the Azure hyphen CLI. So it, ha it has started the installation. So far the installation has been completed. So now I will run the az command to check the version. So I will type az space hyphen hyphen version and it will return me the uh, Azure CLI version that has been installed. So I got uh, the 2.67.0 version has been installed and all the dependency packages has been installed on the Mac 
उस बुक सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट द रिसोर्स ग्रुप इन द एजर I believe you know about the resource groups. If you don't know the resource group, then uh, uh, I will just quickly explain you that resource group in Azure is a logical container that holds related resources for the Azure solution. But we will cover more details about the Azure resource group and Azure resources in the Azure Master Class Mastering Series class. Now I log into the Azure portal and. Uh, yeah now if i go to the resource group so you can see there is no resource group created so far so i will go to the terminal and create the resource group so if i go here then i will command give a command azure az space group create i will give it So I'm just giving a command, az group create hyphen n name of the group which I want to create and hyphen l the location where I want to create. I am just creating the this group in the East US location. So if I give an enter, then it will create the resource group basically in the Azure. So resource group has been created. Let's go and verify. So in the Azure portal. i will just do the refresh and now we can see the resource group has been created so next step is basically to create the service principal so i uh, for uh, basically we need to create the service principal in the azure the service principal is required to create the vm and to launch the provisioner on that vm so for that you need to run the command az space ad like add uh, service principal short form for service principal is sp and create for rbac so i have uh, this is the packer hyphen s service principal that i am going to create i am give the, the role contributor to it and uh, it will create in there so you just need to replace that subscription id your subscription id in this command and you will get and create the service account <coughs> or use the service principal and once you run this command it will give you an output uh, like uh, client secret tenant id and the client id so those three things you require to add into the uh, in your build file to create the <coughs> uh, to run the build and to create the vm and to provision the uh your build scripts or the packages on the in your golden image so from from where you can get the subscription so it's very easy you can just go to the azure portal and go to the subscription and you will get the subscription id so here is the subscription id that you can get so i have already executed it i i ran this command and created the service account so if i just copy here and show you in the azure portal so if i just search here so it will show me the resource which the service principal it has created so if i go here so it has already created and these are the details but if i run this so i already execute this command and noted down all these three uh, items client id client secret and tenant id in my local file so next step is now we will create the first packer build file for the ubuntu so now let's create our first packer build file to build the ubuntu image on azure for that i will create one blank file so i will run the command touch space file name i will give ag az underscore ubuntu dot packer dot scl so i will enter it so file has been created so let's open it it's a blank file so first step is to add the packer block so packer block is basically required to mention the plugins that are required for build file so i will copy the code from my notepad which i uh, written it so this is the packer block which required the azure plugin right 
So it will download the Azure plugin from github.com slash hashicorp slash Azure URL. And the version I mentioned is greater than two. So the next step is the source block. The source block is required to define the VM details that will create by Packer. As I said earlier, Packer build will launch the instance. So source block is the definition of that instance. It has all the details required to launch the instance. So I, so I copied the source code block here. So the source block I am using is the resource Azure hyphen ARM and name I mentioned is packer underscore build underscore image. So in the source block, I mentioned the tags that I want to assign to the VM, then the service principal details. So in the service principal details like client ID, secret subscription ID and tenant ID. So these are required to authenticate and authorize my packer build file to access Azure. So next step is to provide the image details like image offer or name, image publisher, image SQ. So I am using Ubuntu 24.04 LTS image. So and publisher will be canonical and SQ is server. So I set the location East US and VM size is standard DST and OS type is Linux. So you must have a question how to get all these details. For that, you have to run the command az space vm image space list hyphen f ubuntu on the terminal. I will go to the terminal. So I will clear it. So if I type the command here az space vm space image space list space hyphen f. So f is basically for the image offer which image type so here i am using the ubuntu so i will write here ubuntu sorry it's sorry for typo it's not i it will be you so ubuntu so once i will run the command it will give me the list of images available for ubuntu so if you get an error while executing this command then enter az login command to run the azure so it will help you to log in to your azure server and then you will be able to run this command and get the details of the all the images so here as you can see it has all the list of the images so i am using the second one which is the event to 240 uh, LTS. It has offered this publisher and image. All details are mentioned here. So next is the image name and the image resource group. You can give any name, so whatever you want, and the resource group will be the resource group that I created earlier. So I'm using the packer hyphen rg. So next is the build block. Build block is basically to mention source which I need to build. You can have multiple sources in the single packer file and provide those sources as an array in the build section but as i have only one source which is a uh, resource is azure hyphen arm and then name is packer underscore build so i will just mention here that source here so it will help me to build this packer uh, build this image so now our build file is ready now we'll run the packer command to build our own image so in this example, I didn't add any provisional. So image created will be the same image provided by Azure. So in the next example, I will add the provisionals and show you how to create a customized or modified image. So first command that I need to run is the packer init. So init will initialize the packer build file. So I give the file name. So initialization is done. So next command is packer validate. So it will help me to validate the, so validation is done properly. So next is to run the packer build file. So packer space build and the file name. So this command will build the our uh, image. So now the build process has been started. So it will take some time. So I will pause the video and come back, come back once it is done. Yes, so now the image has been created. 
right so uh, i will go to the azure portal to verify so if we go to the resource group so if we go to our resource group packer ng it is loading yeah so this is the image it has been created so we can select the image and launch the instance so if we click here image and click on the create so from this sorry so i just click on the image yeah so this image is details are the here available it is a linux image it is created in this resource group packer hyphen rg and this is the vm generation v2 and is subscription id everything all details are available so if i click on create vm so i can create the vm so which is sorry this image is exactly like the image provided by the azure so i'm not just i'm not going into the details to install or create the vm otherwise the video will be too long but you can while doing the practice and everything you can create uh, launch the instance and verify now i will stop the video here in the next part i will show you how to add the provisioners in the packer build file so stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel keep learning happy learning